Well, exciting news today here at 522 this morning. The new James Webb telescope reaching deeper into the universe than ever before. And NASA and its partners are taking a look at new images from the newly launched James Webb Space Telescope, the next generation of great space observatories. It's now settled into orbit. It's fully functional, and we're already getting the first images. Here to talk about these amazing full-color images that we've seen this week is Amber Strunt. She's a NASA astrophysicist. Good morning, Amber. Good morning. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. Uh, it is an honor to get to speak with you about these incredible, awe-inspiring images that take me back to when I was a young kid looking up at the stars and wondering what could be out there. First of all, tell me what the significance is of these new images that were just released this week. Yeah, well, like you, I grew up under a dark sky, and that was what got me interested in astronomy to begin with. And to think how far we've come with this revolution um, with these first new images, we're able to see some incredible um, scenes of the universe, all the way from uh, the most some of the most distant galaxies, that deep field with all of the beautiful galaxies, to the the spectrum, the fingerprint of a, a planet orbiting another star, to these places of stellar birth. It's just incredible. For many years now, a lot of your research uh, up until this point has been with the Hubble telescope. What are the differences between the James Webb and the Hubble? So Hubble sees the universe primarily in optical, visible light that your eyes can see. And that's great for a lot of things. Uh, but for some things, we need to look at the universe in other types of light. And the JWST is an infrared telescope. So it sees the universe in light that is a little bit more red than what your eyes can see. And that allows us to study the universe really in different ways. It allows us, it gives us that capability to peer through dust, to see the sights of newborn stars and planets. Um, and it also allows us to essentially see into the past, to see very distant galaxies. With this deep field, we're able to look back over 13 billion years into the past to see galaxies as they were being born in the early universe. And as you make those discoveries and see these galaxies far in the past, what are some of the observations that you expect to find? Well, I am, I'm so excited to start to dig into some of this data. Um, I study how stars and black holes form in distant galaxies and how those processes change over time. And some of this very early data is going to give us a new way to, to do that, to help to put together the story of how galaxies change and ultimately helps us understand how our own Milky Way galaxy was able to form our own solar system and our planet Earth and ultimately us. Now, as you look at these images, as you start to explore deeper into the galaxy and deeper into the past or deeper into space, I should say, uh, what are some of the things personally you expect to find out there? What are some of the hopes and dreams as you look up at this that you're hoping to find and solve about the mysteries of space? Well, um, as I said, I study galaxies, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to, um, to understanding more about, about these distant galaxies. But if I'm being honest, I think some of the most transformational science to come from this new telescope will be in the field of exoplanets, uh, because we have this brand new capability to study these planets orbiting other stars in brand new ways. And this is definitely our next step in our search for life in the universe. Well, an incredible undertaking and an incredible success as we take the first look at images from the James Webb Telescope. It's been a pleasure talking with you this morning, Amber. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us. If viewers want to learn more about this incredible space observatory, where can they find out more? You can go to jwst.nasa.gov, and you can follow us on social media. All those handles are at NASA Webb. All right. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure talking with you this morning. Amber Strawn with NASA. And uh, we're talking, of course, about the new images released this week from James Webb.